Good morning. I am Aruke Mary, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Mathematics, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Autonomous, Kadalur. I am going to explain Taylor series, which is a part of complex analysis for PG students. Taylor series. The statement is, if f of z is analytic in the region omega containing z0, then the representation f of z equal to f of z0 plus f dash of z0 by 1 factorial into z minus z0 plus f double dash of z0 by 2 factorial into z minus z0 whole square plus etc plus fn of z0 by n factorial into z minus z0 power n plus etc. And it is valid in the large open disk of center z0 contained in omega. Proof. Let us define capital F of z as small f of z minus f of z0 divided by z minus z0 for z0 not equal to z0. For z0 not equal to z0, it is well defined and analytic for z0 not equal to z0. At the point z0, we take f of z0 as small f dash of z0. Now let us denote capital F of z as f1 of z. That is f1 of z equal to f of z minus f of z0 by z minus z0. Now cross multiplying z minus z0 into f1 of z equal to f of z minus f of z0. From this we write small f of z. That is small f of z equal to f of z0 plus z minus z0 into f1 of z. Repeating this process, we can define another analytic function f2 of z as f2 of z is f1 of z minus f1 of z0 by z minus z0 for the points z0 equal to z0 and at z equal to z0, f1 dash of z0 equal to f2 of z and so on. Continuing this, we can write f1 of z as f1 of z0 plus z minus z0 into f2 of z. And f2 of z as f2 of z0 plus z minus z0 into f3 of z. And so on. Using these equations in star, that is, substituting that in this equation, star, we can write f of z as f of z0 plus z minus z0 into f1 of z0 plus z minus z0 whole square into f2 of z0 plus etc. plus z minus z0 power n into fn of z0 plus z minus z0 power n plus 1 into fn plus 1 of z. Now differentiating this equation n times and setting z equal to z0. Differentiating and setting z equal to z0, we will get f suffix n of z0 as nth derivative of f of z at z0 divided by n factorial. So we get f of z as f of z0 plus z minus z0 by 1 factorial f dash of z0 plus z minus z0 whole square by 2 factorial f double dash of z0 plus etc plus z minus z0 power n by n factorial fn of z0 plus z minus z0 power n plus 1 fn plus 1 of z where fn plus 1 of z is 1 by 2 pi i integral over c 
f of zeta by zeta minus z naught power n plus 1 into zeta minus z d zeta. C is any circle modulus of zeta minus z naught equal to rho such that modulus of z minus z naught less than or equal to r is contained in omega. Since f of zeta is bounded, we can write f modulus of f of zeta as less than or equal to m. Consider now modulus of fn plus 1 of z into z minus z naught power n plus 1. That is the last term we have de derived in f of z. That is equal to modulus of z minus z naught power n plus 1 by 2 pi i into low c f of zeta by zeta minus z naught power n plus 1 into zeta minus z d zeta. That's less than or equal to taking modulus inside the integral. We get less than or equal to 1 by 2 pi integral over c modulus of f of zeta modulus of z minus z naught power n plus 1 divided by modulus of zeta minus z naught power n plus 1 into modulus of zeta minus z into modulus of d zeta. Now modulus of f of zeta is less than or equal to m. So we get m divided by 2 pi into low c modulus of z minus z naught power n plus 1 divided by Modulus of zeta minus z naught is rho, so rho power n plus 1. Modulus of zeta minus z can be written as modulus of zeta minus z naught minus of z minus z naught. Since z is interior point of C, modulus of z minus z naught equal to R is less than rho. Then modulus of f of fn plus 1 of z into z minus z naught power n plus 1 will be less than or equal to m by 2 pi r power n plus 1 by rho power n plus 1 2 pi rho. The integral is 2 pi rho divided by rho minus r. Since we can write modulus of zeta minus z as z modulus of zeta minus z naught minus z minus z naught. The value of zeta minus z naught is rho and z minus z naught is r. So we get the value as greater than or equal to rho minus r. So 1 by will be less than. So modulus of fn plus 1 of z into z minus z naught power n plus 1 will be less than or equal to m into r by rho power n plus 1 rho by rho can be taken out rho into 1 minus r by rho that is less than or equal to m r by rho power n plus 1 1 by 1 minus r by rho since r by rho is less than 1 this r which is tends to 0 as n tends to infinity that is r which is 0 applying n tends to infinity f of z takes the form f of z equal to f of z naught plus z minus z naught by 1 factorial f dash of z naught plus z minus z naught whole square by 2 factorial f double dash of z naught plus etc plus z minus z naught power n by n factorial f n of z naught plus etc and this is Taylor's series. Let us have the glance. See, if f of z is analytic in the region omega containing is that not, then the representation f of z equal to f of z not plus f dash of z not by 1 factorial z minus z not plus f double dash of z naught by 2 factorial z minus z naught whole square plus etc plus fn of z naught by n factorial z minus z naught power n plus etc.
होप यू आर क्लियर थैंक यू